what to do when you have positive and negative reviews inside your business. Guys, Kim Barry here from Your Social Voice. Now, today I'm gonna to talk to you first of all about the principle of extreme ownership. It's something that anytime I'm working with a business owner, anytime I'm talking to someone, I highly recommend they read this book. So the book is called Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leaf something or other, I forget the other guy's name. It's a hard one, Leaf Babbin or something like that. So the book is all about taking ownership over everything that happens, right? And to try and distill it down into a couple minutes here is that if something is going on in your life, you literally cannot control anything else, right? We all think about things as we go through the day, but we can only control our actions. I can't make the cars on the street drive any faster. I can't make my staff work any harder. I can't make my ads work any better, right? I, can, I can't like force Facebook to show them to more people. All I can control is what I can do. So as soon as you start to think about things in your business and in your life like that, which is the whole premise of extreme ownership, then you'll start to see that as things happen, you, it's much easier to accept responsibility for it and see what you're going to do next. So I'll give you an example. One of the um, team members, I'm pretty sure it was Jocko Willink, so he was going through, and they were used to be Marines. So they're going through a, um, a stakeout at the time, they had to go out, they had to take all their men, their Marines, they're big, tough dudes, they're going out, they're deployed on missions, they go, they have to rescue someone. So they go, go in, operations happening, they get people out, they come back, job's done. Now they're in a war zone, right? This is in hard times. Bullets are flying, it's dangerous. And what happens when they get back is their CEO, their operating officer at the very top is going, hey, where's our paperwork? They're going, hey, we're out here, risking our lives, extracting people, we're doing the jobs that you told us to do, and now you're asking me about paperwork. You can shove your paperwork you know where, right? That's what they're thinking in their heads. It happened a couple of times, and they're going, look, now, I'm getting stressed. Me getting stressed at a superior officer, me telling a superior officer to shove it where the sun don't shine, is not gonna be a good outcome for anyone, right? So, how can we alleviate this problem? Well, let's take extreme ownership. If everything is my responsibility, no, I'll say fault, but that's not the right word, my fault. How can I get a better outcome from this? So they said, okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to over communicate now. Every time before we're gonna send paperwork before we go, we're gonna put paperwork in of what happened on the uh, mission and then a, like a, a post uh, operation analysis as well. So as soon as they started doing that, guess what happened? The CEOs stopped asking them for anything, which stopped causing them stress. Now I know I've had this before where I was in companies and I was going, that people asking me for reports and stuff and I'm like, hang on, I'm doing such a good job out here and you keep asking me for more. And I just finished listening to that book and said, well actually, if I'm getting, like, I can only take ownership of this. I can't stop them asking for reports. I'm just gonna give them a report every end of every week and a breakdown at the end of every day. I'm going to over deliver on that so that they can never have a question. They're never gonna to have to ask me what's happening and what's going on. Now, as soon as I did that, they're like, hey, hey, cool, cool. We don't need any more reports. I'm like, cool, I'm just gonna still send you the weekly one. And it started to happen. And what happened was all the stress came off me because I took extreme ownership of it. So the same thing should happen within your business. If you're getting positive and negative reviews um, or positive and negative feedback, you have to take extreme ownership of it. However, one of the big, big principles that I highly recommend when it comes to uh, reviews, when it comes to outcomes within your business is number one is take no credit and then also take no blame, right? Unless it's something specifically that you've done. For example, if my client gets a good result, because of the leads that I've generated for them. I don't take any credit for it. They sold those clients, they did the processes, they got them on board, they did a great job. I also won't take any blame if they didn't close any of the week, of the leads, right? It's not the leads that are weak, you're weak, right? That is their responsibility. So I don't take any credit and then also don't take any blame. So if I'm operating like that, it's very easy to take this stuff on board. But every time what happens is if you do take extreme ownership within your business, when it comes to the positive and negative feedback, let's look on the positive side. If you take extreme ownership and go, okay, great, we got this feedback back. And what did I do? Then you can replicate, then you can build systems, then you can build procedures and policies around what just happened. So don't just get feedback and be like, oh, pat on the back. Well done us, yay, right? That's not gonna help anyone. That's not gonna help you get any further in your business. That's not gonna help you grow. So what you need to be doing is looking at going, if I got that, let's take extreme ownership. We've just done a good job. How did we do that? And then breaking it down. Because if you can break down exactly how it happened, what happened, why it happened, then you're gonna be able to figure out how to replicate that ongoingly. And then on the other side, if you get 
negative feedback, you need to go, great, what did we do here differently than we normally do? What did we do here that was different that didn't help our client get that outcome? That didn't help this person with a product that they wanted or service that they wanted? How can we now, do we take extreme ownership of that, right? If something happens, we take extreme ownership. We're gonna do this, do this, do this, do this, do this to optimize and improve what just happened and the experience. But again, if you just get a negative experience, like, oh, that client, they were terrible anyway. Oh, that person wanted to send this product back. Oh, that product was bad anyway, right? You can't operate like that in your business. This is all about the mindset that you take into how you deal with things that happen in your business. So if you get a negative one, right? A negative experience, great. What happened to go great? What happened for you as the client? Well, this happened, I didn't get told this, I didn't get this, I didn't get this, I didn't get this. Great, thank you so much. I take full responsibility for every single thing that you just said. I take extreme ownership of that. Here's what I'm going to do. Based on what you just said, I'm going to overcome this, overcome this, overcome this, overcome this, switch this whole thing around so that you get the best experience possible. Right? You can't go, oh, well, you didn't give me the, the paperwork in time, or you ordered it on a Saturday and we only deliver on Friday, so you had to wait a whole week. That's not their fault. You can't control what other people do, you can only control what you do. So whether you get a positive or a negative piece of feedback or a you know, room for improvement piece of feedback, you have to take that on board and going, how did we, using extreme ownership, cause that to happen? What do I do to cause that to happen? Same as like, if you're late for work, you can't blame the traffic. You were late. You chose to get up and you chose to leave at the time you did. You got that outcome, right? If you get a feeling of stress, you chose to be stressed about it. No positive or negative, but you chose it so you can do something about it. That's the only person that can change something is you. I can't go out there and make you earn a million dollars. Right? We can give you tools and resources around you, but the ownership is on you to do it. I can't go into a gym and expect that just by walking in, I'm gonna have a six pack. Right? It's impossible. If there's a gym like that out there, please let me know, I'll come visit. But that's not going to happen, right? And I take extreme ownership of that. So I need to focus on my nutrition and my training because that's all that I can do. Nothing else out there I can I can change or you know I can't make it that everyone uh, only likes guys who don't have six packs now, right? No, it's unfortunate. We don't have to go that way. But if you look at and you understand and you go through that process as you're thinking about it, it's something you need to take into your business as a whole. So how should you execute this? How should you bring it in? Well, everything in a company starts top down, right? It's a pyramid scheme. We all know that. So you as the business owner need to start first. So if someone comes into your organization, someone comes in with a problem, you take extreme ownership of that and you start to lead by example. You start to show them exactly what it looks like when you go, cool, I take responsibility for that. I'm going to figure it out. I take responsibility for that. I'm going to find out how we can get a better outcome next time. Then you teach your team about extreme ownership. You teach other stakeholders in your business what extreme ownership means. If you have clients, maybe you buy it for them as a book and you send it to them. You go, great, I'm willing to take extreme ownership by you. Cool, let's both go away and figure out how we could do things better. Then it's going to be an even, 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 even better experience after that. So go through and identify those things. And then you'll find if it starts from you and it filters down through your company, through your business, through the people that you interact with, everything becomes easier, right? And you start to figure out more ways to overcome any of these potential problems that you've had or been having. And then what happens is you will start to get lesser and lesser negative feedback, lesser and lesser negative outcomes because you're always taking extreme ownership and you're dealing with it as they come up. That's why extreme ownership and looking at that approach to your positive and negative feedback and outcomes in your business is so important. And that's also how you go about implementing it. Is number one, well, first point, just get the book, right? Get the audio book. They actually have pretty cool accents. Uh, they tell the story quite well. So download the audio book, go on Audible or something like that and uh, get a copy or buy, it, buy the book. Then number two is start implementing it in your life. If you rock up something late, go, cool, I caused this to be late. What can I do next time? Leave 10 minutes early. Like I'm pretty much early to everything I go to because I, I choose not to be late. And I take ownership for that. So I'll leave unless, you know, my brother Jason's coming with me and he wants to leave the door at 6.59 for a seven o'clock appointment. Then we're gonna be late. What could I do better? Next time I'm gonna whip him on the butt. Just pick out, whoosh, whip him until he gets out of the door. I can only take extreme ownership of what I can do, right? I can't expect him to show up in any other way. So guys, that's how you need to go about this. Implement it in your life. Start operating it, start using it. Stop giving yourself excuses around things. But also take no credit and take no blame. Stop taking credit for things that are happening outside of you. If you do something, like if I go run a marathon, great, I ran the marathon. But if your clients get a result, if a customer gets a result, that's cool, but you take no credit and you also take no blame, right? And that's what this is all about. That's why you do it. That's what it is and how you can actually go out there and implement it. 
So guys, I hope that this has been beneficial for you. I hope you've taken some understanding going, cool, if I get a positive or a negative, or if something doesn't work, take extreme ownership and figure out what the steps are from there. Break it down into systems and processes so that you can get better results within your business. Now, if you've liked this, if you enjoyed this, make sure you give me a little thumbs up down below and comment and let me know what you thought about it. If there's anything else that you would love to see me cover, make sure you let me know, keep me in the loop and always, always, always subscribe so that you get notified first before anyone else. Guys, until next time, I'm Kim Barra. You've been awesome. Adios.